Hi and welcome back to Garden Ninja. Today's video guide is going to show you how to deadhead roses and it may sound simple but I often see people really struggling and making a right meal of it. So today's quick guide is going to show you with your pair of snips how to correctly deadhead roses. Come on, let's get cracking. If you've not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit the red button to subscribe today. Also click the bell for notifications. We'll have access to hundreds of garden design hints, tips and hacks from me, the Garden Ninja. And best of all, it's free. When it comes to pruning roses, you just need a sharp pair of secateurs. Failing that, a clean sharp pair of kitchen scissors will suffice. So the best time to deadhead roses is when they're in flower throughout late spring and early summer. If it's the middle of winter and you're watching this guide, then make sure you check out my How to Prune a Rose Guide, because we prune 90% of roses in the winter when they're dormant. This guide is to help you encourage flowering by deadheading. Once you've got your snips, it's time to deadhead. Now when it comes to deadheading roses, you want to cut the rose flowering head off just as it finishes like that but a lot of people tend to cut just below the flower head and that leaves this stalk here and that will simply dry up and crisp up nothing's going to grow from that so when you dead head you want to go back all the way down to the next either bud or lateral so we're talking about taking off that much rather than taking off that head and leaving that on the plant So let's take a look at a really bad example of deadheading. So the bad example would be to cut it there, leaving this stalk here, because that's just going to die back. It's pointless. You might as well take it all the way back to the next set of laterals here. So I'm going to just work around this rose here and taking off all of the dead heads and the beauty of deadheading a rose is it means that it allows the rose to put its energy into making more flowers rather than more of these rose hips that would turn if they are not sterile into seed so you're trying to prevent it from setting seed and just creating more beautiful roses and there we go that one's pretty much done So it's really easy to tell when to deadhead a rose because the petals will start to fall off and it will just leave what would become the hip. So we cut it back to the next set of leaves down. And I'm just going to work my way around this, just deadheading it. And I actually find this really enjoyable, very satisfying. And you can actually compost all of the hips. I put them into a bucket and then throw them onto the compost bin. So nothing goes to waste. If you are pushed for time, you can just throw the hips into the border and they will decompose. So, dependent on time. And there we have it. What was that? 15, 20 seconds? And now this rose will produce even more flowers throughout the season. Now, a lot of gardeners know that they need to deadhead roses to keep the flowers blooming in the summer. But not many people really understand why, but I'm going to tell you now. So if you don't deadhead a rose, all that will happen is that when the flower finishes, all of the energy will go into creating a rose hip, and if the rose isn't sterile, a seed. And what that means is that energy that would go into producing more flowers to produce more seed gets taken away and put into these rose hips. And by cutting off these rose hips before they start to form, it encourages the rose to send out more flowers because the rose basically wants to reproduce. So it's producing these flowers, hopefully to allow them to turn into rose hips and drop seed. But we are cutting them off, meaning that the rose will keep producing flowers for the season. And that means that the rose will look far more beautiful without wasting energy on rose hips. 
Have you got gardening questions that you need answers for? Well, why not head over to the Garden Ninja Forum on my blog, where you can ask me anything about gardens, plants, and garden design. There's a whole army of other garden ninjas there that can help provide answers to your questions. It's a really great way to meet the other ninjas. So head over there now. So there we go, my super easy guide as to how and why we deadhead roses in the summer for more blooms. If you've liked this video, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel for more garden design hints, tips and hacks to help you make your gardens awesome. I've been Garden Ninja, happy gardening.